to begin our study of the authentically Enochian aspect of John Dee's work, let us turn our attention to a medallion he wore himself embrazened in gold, depicting the twelve tribes of Israel, given in their usual order of listing as from the cited biblical references. Although here Dee gives us two specific additions to the system, that enable us to determine its exact decipherment. First, he gives us the four cardinal directions, and second, he gives us twelve names of seven letters each to correspond with the twelve tribes, such that for each of the four cardinal directions, we find three names for three tribes. These twelve seven-letter names are each numbered and when we connect the dots of these numbers, we derive the shape of John Dee's unicursal dodecagram. Dee's own term for the twelve seven-letter terms was the twelve angelic kings, three of which rule each of the four cardinal directions, given by John Dee as the four elemental watchtowers. Thus, here we see the great table of all four watchtowers. In the upper left, the watchtower of air. In the upper right, the watchtower of earth. In the lower right, the watchtower of water. And in the lower left, the watchtower of fire. And it should be duly noted that no one has yet deciphered John Dee's method of encryption of this four watchtower system. By using a method of color coding, we can better visualize Dee's own attributions of traits to these various different ciphers. So here we see purple is medicine, royal blue precious stones, sky blue transformation, azurite the four elements, yellow natural substances, orange transportation, red mechanical arts, garnet secret discovery, green the 24 seniors, silver the god names vertical, and gold the god names horizontal. A more popularly known version of Dee's four elemental watchtowers depicts the sigils of 91 seven letter places in the earth, given such that there are three such seven-letter sigils for each of the thirty heirs, aside from the lowest heir, Tex, which has four. Here we see air is color-coded yellow, earth blue, fire red, and water green. So we can see accordingly the airs along the right are color-coded alike. In the following list of these 91 places in the earth, we will be using the color coding of both the 30 airs as well as the original attributes given by John D. And so here we see a list of all 91 names given according to the 30 heirs, and color-coded per each letter according to the attribute of its location on the four watchtowers. Note also that each of the 91 names is assigned to one of the 12 angelic kings, and also note that there is a 92nd name that is excluded on this list. Again, using the color coding of the original attributes of John D. per letter of the name, we can next list these 91 places in the earth by one of 12 angelic kings according to one of four cardinal directions, as well as one of 30 heirs for each seven letter sigil representing a place in the earth each letter coded according to the traits given by D for that location. 
and so to come to understand the system as D himself may have intended it to be mapped onto the surface of the four watchtowers. The last aspect derived from these four watchtowers are 24 seniors, four great kings, and 12 names of God, taken from each of the four central crosses, previously color-coded green, yielding six seniors from each, as seen here for the cross of air, and likewise yielding one great king from the center of each cross, and each element's twelve-lettered name of God is read across the bar of each of these crosses. The place of the twenty-four seniors and four great kings is upon the elemental watchtowers. However, the twelve names of three, four, and five letters each appear as holy banners surrounding representation of the earth divided into the four cardinal directions. Dee's own depiction of his thirty heirs system was as thirty concentric circles, the outermost being the uppermost and the innermost being the lowest. And again we can see that by color coding these thirty heirs we can understand their placement as according to the four elemental watchtowers forming four concentric elemental realms. Here depicted based on the color coding of the 30 heirs given for the 91 sigils of the places in earth, the four elemental watchtowers, all of which are derived from Dee's own creation of unknown derivation which, as any student of Dean knows, were reformed on April 20th, 1587, into a different order than the one that has been used by researchers since.